What most people need now is not just love, it's also peace, honor, and regard. The problem we have in American culture that is brewing and stewing across the land is people not understanding where their boundaries begin and end. When I do these audio casts, I actually have people in the background across the street at violent places, literally trying to hack my computer. It usually means that they have some backdoor, some fix that they've either put into systems that allow hackers to do this, or hackers are just that sophisticated, and us common folks are never taught how to protect ourselves from hackers. When I'm talking about this, I'm talking practically about the fact that I have slept outside in the summertime and put my own technology in my pockets. When I did that, I would wake up in the morning and find my technology that was typically secure in my cargo pants that were buttoned down, falling outside, allegedly, of my pockets. But then I would go to my phone and find that everything was askew, that my apparatuses, my applications, and the technology that I was using or the photographs that I was choosing or, photo or taking myself or being monkeyed with by someone, deleted by someone, interfered with by someone. I recently recorded a video in the last day or so, and by the time I got to get to get it uploaded, someone had already hacked my phone and edited it. How did the motherfucker do they do that? Did they clone my phone illegally and demorally, thinking they had rights to me? In your life, do you want people on your telephone? Our telephones are some of the most private tools that we own. They are things that we are either received as a gift from someone who had one and just didn't need another one, or they're things that we purchased at an actual store with our own profitable cash. And when I was staying out at the mall, someone actually took my cell phone and literally broke it. It was a cell phone I liked a lot because you could take the battery out of it so you could have private talks with people without someone turning on your phone from a distance, or some corporation doing that, or some local law enforcement bastard doing that. What I'm talking about is the abuse of technology in America, and it is running rampant. Young people are learning to hack at colleges and in high schools, but they're not being taught the ethics or the laws of the world, or literally, they don't care. But if it was their phone, they'd care. In my case, I want to be able to know that the intellectual property that I'm writing for my job, that I'm required to put out there, is still my intellectual property. But someone, thinking something, someone is thinking that they have the right to edit me. You don't have the right to edit a journalist. You don't have the right to edit a reporter unless you're paid to do that, and that's your official job. I talk all the time about the three R's of life. The three R's of life are roles, rules, and responsibilities. What is your role in life? What is your actual position, your actual profession, your actual industry, your actual collection of your life? And what are the rules governing that from the international standards and laws and benchmarks of the world in your industry? But also, what are the rules that are of local ordinances and local concepts and local social nuances that, need, that govern your work? And finally, what are your technical responsibilities in your job description? And are you doing everything within that job description? But more importantly, are you abusing your rights by doing things outside your job description that have absolutely nothing to do with your job and what you get paid for? So are you wasting the company's time and, you're with, and the company's dime with your stupidly, or stupidness of play? Now, I might mumble on occasion. I might make mistakes in my work on occasion, but when that happens, I'm usually passionately upset about how people are playing in American culture, as if they have rights to monkey with someone, to piss on someone, to abuse someone, to harass someone, to harangue someone, and it's not true. We don't have bullying as a standard practice in America. Now, in countries like China and Japan and maybe even Korea, they use bullying as a social control. Bullying is a real problem, or used to be a good 20 years ago in Japan. They have finally advanced psychologically and sociologically in a way that it's not so welcome and not so standard. But it is still used as kind of a social curbing of getting people to behave themselves and do things. And they are a socialist state, even though they have a lot of freedoms and a lot of independence where they live in that country, in that prefecture, which is also considered a state. What I'm talking about is the providences of uh, islands that have different ways of doing things. But when you come to America, you have laws you have to follow. And those laws that regarding our technology say we have the rights to our technology and you do not. And there's nothing in your job description that says that you can step over the barriers of the laws that say that our technology belongs to us and play around in it. If that happens in your country and it's still a law, that means you're stupid. It means you can't follow the rules of life. The rules of life is that we don't harm people. 
When you harm someone's technology, you harm their rights to life, you harm their rights to earning, you harm their relationships, you harm their medical situations, you harm people. And we don't like that here. 